Hey everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to look at the next set of divisibility rules in the series on number sense. Um, if you haven't had time to check out the last video on the divisibility rules for 1 through 5, go ahead and check that out. But if you have, let's take a look at the rules for 6 through 10. So here are the rules for the numbers 6 through 10. The rule for number 6 says that a number is divisible by 6 if it is also divisible by 2 and 3. And so we would check those two numbers. If they both work, 6 works. If not, 6 doesn't work. The divisibility rule for 7 is actually pretty complicated. I'm not going to cover it in this video. I encourage you to Google it. Um, and if you Google it, go ahead and post the link as one of the comments to this video. And we will send you some math talk swag. All right. The rule for 8. If you take, it says if you take the last three digits of the number, if those last three digits are divisible by 8, then the number itself is divisible by 8. All right. It's similar to the rule for 4, except that we're looking at the last three digits instead of the last two digits. The rule for 9 is very similar to the rule for 3. It says you can take the sum of the digits, and if that number is divisible by 9, then the number itself is divisible by 9. The rule for 3 is pretty much the same thing, except you're looking at being divisible by 3 instead of 9. And the rule for 10, in my opinion, is the easiest rule there is, because if your number ends in a 0, then your number is divisible by 10. Otherwise, it's not. So let's take a look at how to apply these rules for a couple examples. So I have the rules up here for reference, and we're going to look and see if the numbers 144, 120, and 30,240 are divisible by any of them. So first one, 144, is it divisible by six? Well, let's check two and three. Uh, to check two, I need to look at the last digit, which is a four. And since that last digit is a zero, two, four, six, or eight, it's divisible by two. To check three, I need to add up the digits of 144, and I get nine. Since nine is divisible by three, 144 is also divisible by three. And since two or three work, six works. So fantastic. Seven, again, it's a tricky rule. I'm not going to cover it. I'll tell you that seven does not work. It is not divisible by seven. And look at eight. The last three digits happen to be the full number itself. Um, and if I divide that in, eight goes into, let's see, eight goes into 14 once, so then there's six. Six attached to four, 64, which is divisible by eight, which means 144 is divisible by eight. All right? If I look at 9, I need to sum the digits, and I just did that a moment ago. It's 9, and 9 is divisible by 9, so 144 is divisible by 9. Okay. Um, easy one, it is not, 144 does not end in 0, so it is not divisible by 10. Alright, let's look at 120. 120, if I try 2, the last digit of 120 is a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, so it's divisible by 2. If I add up the digits, 1 plus 2 plus 0, I get 3, which is divisible by 3, which means 2 and 3 both work, which also means that 6 works. All right? 7, again, 7 does not work. It's a tricky rule, but I'll tell you 7 doesn't work. Um, if I try 8, let's see, 8 goes into 12 once with the remainder of 4, 4 attached to 0 is 40, and 40 divided by 8 works, so 120 is divisible by 8. Um, let's see, if I look at 9, uh, the sum of the digits, 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 is not divisible by 9, so 9 doesn't work. But my number ends in a 0, which means 10 works. So fantastic. Last one, a larger number to try. So looking at 30,240, uh, let's see, the number ends in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, so 2 works. Uh, 3 plus 2 plus 4 is 9. Uh, plus zero plus zero. That's why we don't add those. It doesn't change it. It's still nine. Uh, nine is divisible by three, which means two and three both work, which also means that six works. All right, fantastic. Seven actually does work in this case. Again, I'm not going to show you the rule, but I'll tell you that seven works. Eight. Eight. I need to look at the last three digits of my number. So I'm looking at 240. If 240 is divisible by eight, then 30,240 is divisible by eight. And so 240, uh, 24 is divisible by 8, which means any multiple of 24 is divisible by 8. Um, and since 240 is a multiple of 24, 8 has to work. Okay? 
Um, looking at nine, I summed the digits of a moment ago. I got nine, and nine is divisible by nine because any number is divisible by itself. So nine works. And again, the number ends in zero for that easy rule, which means 10 works. So all five of my numbers, my digits actually work. Um, and just as a little fun fact, this number happens to be uh, six times seven times eight times nine times 10. So I knew that all the numbers would work. And I hope this helps as you get to looking at some problems where you may need to simplify some numbers, maybe simplifying fractions or simplifying radicals or square roots or using factor trees, things like that. Um, where knowing how to divide numbers to make them smaller will come in handy. Again, if you haven't had a chance to check out the video for the divisibility rules of 1 through 5, go ahead and check that out. And uh, I encourage you again to go try and Google that divisibility rule for 7. It is quite interesting. And as always, thanks for watching. If you feel like after you're watching my videos, you think you may still need some extra practice in the classroom, you want to take classes with us, visit our website at www.gedes.com. It'll take you right to this website and you can find locations and where our classes are being offered. If you live in one of our you know, neighboring counties, you can definitely visit our website, uh, geds.com, and you can click on this link down here, FDOE Adult Educational Contacts. This will list the different contacts of the adult ed programs in the counties throughout the state of Florida. So you don't necessarily have to be in Palm Beach County to take advantage of adult and community ed classes. If you live in one of these counties, reach out to these people and they'll get you set up with classes in their county. Thanks again for watching.